Our next guest says it's vital for people to take actual vacation in order to get ahead at work. Former editor-in-chief of USA Today, Joanne Lippman, writes about this in a new piece for the Wall Street Journal, and she joins us now. I couldn't agree more. Um, honestly, I took a vacation recently, and Alex, aren't I a little better? A little bit on the air? No? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes, Absolutely. No? Much, much yes. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the right answer. Killing I feel it. a little better, actually. Killing it. Okay, well, I feel better. I feel more confident and I feel rested, which, you know, when you're doing a schedule like this, you do need a break. You need to take many. But talk about sort of American habits lately in terms of taking vacation, what you found when you were working on this piece. Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, Mika, you are absolutely correct and you are <laughs> crushing it after your vacation. Okay. Um, and, but what I did find, so, so the piece uh, grew out of my book, Next, The Power of Reinvention in Life and Work, which is a deeply reported guide to navigating change in how we live, how we work, how we lead. And so I really dove deeply into innovation, to creativity, like what makes us tick and where do we get our best ideas. And I found, and I in fact have an entire chapter on the importance of taking a break, but it's not just taking a break. You need to take your vacation. So almost half of us this year and every year, in fact, leave our vacation days on the table. And it is, it's so damaging and it's not, you know, we know that taking vacation, all the research will tell you, it's great for your health and your mental health, right? It reduces stress, anxiety, depression, heart disease, but it's also really good for your career. And there's actually a growing body of evidence that I talk about mm. in my piece and in the book um, about what vacation can do for you. So, so for example, um, there was a Harvard Business Review study. It looked at 5,000 people. Those who take their vacation days were promoted at almost twice the rate of those who left their days on the table. Um, and then EY, it studied its own people and found that those who would take 10 hours of vacation in a month, it was correlated with an 8% boost in performance ratings. And then BCG, I love this one. So BCG actually had to force its consultants to take time off and they forced them to take either one day or even just one evening <laughs> a week away from the job with no electronic devices. And they, they actually resisted. The consultants were like, no. Um, but when they did, they were afraid that their work product would suffer and that um, their performance as well as the, what they were delivering to the client would suffer. But in fact, it was the reverse. Their work product was better. Mm. The work they delivered was better. And by the way, they were happier. So, so important for all of us. First of all, Joanne, we love a guest who shows up and insists we leave work more frequently. So thank you for saying that out loud. <laughs> but it's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it? People don't take their vacation days because they feel like, okay, I'm going to fall behind at work. My boss is going to notice that I'm taking, I'm not here enough. But you're saying actually research says the opposite. So why does someone who takes all of her or his vacation days get ahead actually. Right, because, well, first of all, the reason that we don't do it is because we feel guilty. We all think that if we take vacation, the whole place is gonna fall apart and that our career is gonna suffer. And so we end up sort of even being stressed out while we're on that vacation. So what we need to do is sort of reduce that guilt factor. But also I think a huge part of this is companies actually have to get wise to this. And they are starting to do so. Um, there are actually, I, I can mention three things that companies have done, which I think are really sort of interesting. One, this is kind of mind blowing, but Goldman Sachs as of this year is requiring employees, forcing employees to take three weeks of vacation a year, which is really astonishing, but they were finding people simply weren't doing it. A second thing that uh, some companies are doing is giving an incentive to like of $1,000 or $2,000 to put toward your vacation. Uh, companies like Evernote are doing that, a company called Bamboo HR are doing that. 
Um, and then a third thing that some companies are doing, and this started more in the during the pandemic, com some of these companies started what were called recharge days, which is the whole company shuts down. And the idea there is to do away with the guilt. So it would be um, mm. you take maybe a week off, as some companies did last week, like PwC and EY took off the whole week. They shut down the whole company. Some, some companies are adding a day to vacation weekends or, or taking off around Christmas. But the idea is do away with the guilt. Take your vacation. Joanne, a vacation today is very different than a vacation 20 years ago because of this thing. Yes. So how is, how is electronics and how is social media and how is the smartphone? Where does that fit into this? Because people leave but they don't really leave. Yeah, I love that question because so much of the research that I found shows that it's really important to shut off your electronic devices, leave them behind, right? So the, the electronic devices, um, if you take off time, if you go in nature, um, you know, you are gonna be far more refreshed, uh, but it's really important. That is very hard to do, uh, but very important. All right, Joanne Lippman, thank you so much. Uh, her new piece is online for the Wall Street Journal right now, and her latest book is titled Next, The Power of Reinvention in Life and Work, and it is fabulous. Joanne, thanks for being on thanks, this Joanne. morning. And Donnie.